Mr. Nyenteke has been banned from all football related activities for the rest of his life and has been fined 500,000 Swiss francs for various breaches of FIFA's code of ethics after he was exposed by investigative journalist Anas Armeyao Anas. It would be recalled that before the screening of the investigative piece on June 6, 2018, news emerged from the camp of Mr. Nyenteke that Anas Armeyao Anas and his Taga IPI team had attempted to blackmail him by demanding 150,000 US dollars from him to stop the screening of the video. The announced count, however, denied being a party to such blackmail, suggesting that someone might be seeking to serve as an intermediary for that purpose without their knowledge or approval. But speaking for the first time on the grace to grass story of her husband, Mrs. Christine Nyantechi, who is also the director of the Oasis Montessori School at the Teshi Greater States, stated emphatically that in their desperation at the attempt after seeing pieces of the video, they were approached by some persons who said they could stop the screening for an amount of 150,000 US dollars. There is information and there's, there's truth in that information. Um, apparently, we became so desperate uh, when we realized that. Um, all that you know were presented to us were false so um we tried to make some interventions and they proposed that he pay some money they proposed one hundred fifty thousand mm dollars -hmm. my husband couldn't afford one hundred fifty thousand dollars so he gave us hundred thousand dollars and then they came back to him and said the person says you need to add fifty thousand dollars. And said, so, "Well, I don't have, so um, that's all that I have." So he gave us one hundred thousand dollars. Yes. Hoping that that will be used to take away the episode that yes. maybe the film will not be shown. Yes. And the people who collected the money said the demand was for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes. But he gave out the hundred anyway. Yes. So what happened to the hundred? It was later returned when they showed the video. It was later returned. Oh, the money was returned? Yes. And they brought 40000 first, and then later on they brought $60,000. Her husband, Kwesi Nyenteki, had earlier in a statement confirmed he was approached by people to cough out a hoping $150,000 to stop the premiere of the expose, but he could not afford it. According to Mrs. Christine Yantechi, her husband, whose story has generated excitement from a section of the populace, is not running away and that people should allow the law to work. Yes, FIFA is an association mm -hmm. and it's governed by a code of ethics. So if you break the code of ethics, you are sanctioned. So whatever has happened is a sanction. It's not, um, I don't know, is it punitive? It's not... Um, uh, it's not a court uh, conclusion. Conclusion. So it's not a criminal finding. It's not a criminal, thank you. Yeah. It's not a criminal finding. Mm. So um, people are saying FIFA has banned, banned him. So what is Ghana doing? Mm -hmm. the, what, <laughs> um, that is, we are talking about two different um, things yeah. here. You know, to prove that somebody has committed a crime, mm -hmm. you need to go through some processes. Mm -hmm. You see, and the law says that a person is presumed to be innocent until proven otherwise. My mm -hmm. pain is Ghanaians should exercise patience. Because mm -hmm. he is not running away. Yeah. He's here. If the court or if the process is found Kwesi guilty, he's available to face the consequences. Mm -hmm. But until then, the name calling, the insults, the jubilations and the celebrations that he is down. I'm begging and pleading that we should all hold our horses and wait. Time will tell. He's ready to face any consequences. He says, if I have done something wrong, let the law take its course. Kwesi Nyantechi was earlier suspended by FIFA for 90 days before he resigned from all football positions he held on June 8, 2018.